Yo, this is Hitano Plays, Pokemon Diamond. We are at the spare pillar on top of Mount Coronet, and it's time to finish off Team Galactic once and for all. First off, we have the two final grunts to fight off against. Something huge is going to happen, I think, maybe, right? Don't meddle around. Of course you're going to, aren't you? That's why the two of us will team up to take you down to the ground. So we're going to start off with a dual battle against the two final grunts who will be playing in this game. A male and a female, of course. They have four Pokémon total, two of each. Dustox and Stunky will be our first opponents to face off against. We're going to use Infernip and Luxray. Okay, so here we have a bit of combination on how we can do this, but I think... The best way to start off with this is to take out Dustox, because he might know Psybeam, which can be dangerous to uh, Infernape. So I'll flamethrower the Dustox, and I have Luxray to do Spark on Stunky. Just to avoid any Psybeam attacks on Infernape, because Dustox can learn Psybeam normally, so that could do some damage to us. There goes at least Dustox. That's one down, three more to go. And now we'll see with Stunky. I don't know how much damage you can do to it, but we should we do some more. Got Memento. Oh, this is bad. This reduces our attack and special attack by two levels. But it also faints the Pokemon. So sure, we take it out, but I don't know what I want to take it out by myself. So that's a bad thing. Okay, so two Pokemon left. It's going to be Krogunk. And the last Pokemon from the other trainer will be... Glamia. Alright, so in this one, we already, we already know how we're going to take this on. So Glamia will be the one we will focus on from Infernape. And we'll do a spark on Krogunk. Even though we lost our attack by two levels, we should still be able to take our Glamia out in a single hit. Typical stab bonus, and the attack power is just too big for Glamia to survive. So down it goes. Now reduce our speed defense, special defense as well. All gone down by a single level. That's gonna be that trainer, we still have to take on Krogunk. That's in front of goes level 44. Let's see how much we can do to Krogunk. With the spark from Luxray. Oh, do pretty well. Whoa, it's actually a one shot! Krogunk is too weak in the special defense level, and therefore Luxray takes it out with a single hit. That's actually pretty cool. And as a reward for the effort, Luxray goes low, 39. That's gonna be those grunts. The toughest of all the grunts, that was me. Ah, I left some little kid beat me. Why do people call me kid? Stop it. Well, that was just pathetic. We're just gonna let you pass so you can get pulverized by our bosses. Yeah, it's gonna be the next one we see here. It is Jupiter and Mars. They're gonna do a dual battle with us right now, so we need to be ready for that. I think Fernip and um Luxray should be good against these. Let's go. Here we are, here they are. No all will end, and everything will begin. With this red chain, I will pry upon the portal to another dimension. I commanded you unleash your power for me. Dialga, the mythical Pokemon and the master of time. Dialga? Really? Oh boy, this is not gonna go good. A little distortion there, look at what's gonna happen right now. You hear the music? Doesn't really mean good. So here comes the cover Pokemon of Pokemon Diamond. Of course, if you're playing Pearl, it'll be Palkia coming instead, but we are playing Diamond, and there he is. Yalga. Look what he's doing. He's unleashing his rage. This will bring about the destruction of all things. With everything gone, there will be no fighting and no strife. Can you feel them time disorting? Only I can choose to stop it. 
here is the result of what the other guy is doing right now. It's spreading across the whole damn Sina region. This is bad. Really bad. This is the mythical Pokemon that created Sinnoh, Dialga, the ancient deity of time. The world cannot be molded into the ultimate world I seek. It's far easier to create an entirely new world than to change this old one. A new world in which I am the ruler of all things. I shall become a deity. Huh. We'll see about that. Let's take care of them now. There's no need to rush. I can understand you want to battle our boss real bad, but you have to go through me first. After all, you made me look bad more times than I care to remember. And I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time the gloves are coming off. Hold on one second. Don't you start the party without me. Huh. Well, if it isn't the little boy who ran off crying at Lake Aquity. Did you get any tougher since then? We beat you two on two. So it's gonna be our rival together with us for a team battle against Commander Mars and Commander Jupiter. They have six Pokemon combined. That means they have three and three. So first up will be Bronzor times 2. And he'll be using a Munchlax for some reason. Munchlax is the new Pokemon in Generation 4, which is the pre-evolutional form of Snorlax. Alright, so I'll focus on one of the Bronzors to take it out. Let's go with the Flamethrower, should be more than fine to take out this uh, Bronzor. Yeah, more than fine. Getting a bit decent level now, but we should do fine. So that's one down. We have five more to go against these two. Remember that we will get to fight um, fight Cyrus after this, so be ready for that. Extra Sensory will do some damage to us, but not doing too much because Bronzor doesn't really have a lot of special attacks. Screech on Bronzor to cut his defense by two levels, which actually is not a bad thing. And. The other one will respond by sending out Golbat. Alright, so now Flamethrower the Bronzor and we'll have Munchlax attack on Golbat. So now we're taking out Bronzor 1 and that's gonna be Bronzor 2. So both the Bronzors are down, that means we have four Pokemon left to fight. Which will be a Golbat and one more po two more from the other side. Air Cutter, hit both of us. Effective on me because I'm weak to uh, flying. More, no, more attack will take normal damage because he's a normal type. You're gonna go stockpile instead. Which he can stockpile to increase his defense and special defense, and he can use the stockpile later to recover health. Okay, it's gonna be Golbat and Golbat. Two Golbats. Should we do something about this? Yeah, I have to switch out. I don't trust this with Luxray, so I do that. Luxray, come out. You'll be taking on these two Golbats. We'll intimidate both of them. That's a good thing because then we can reduce their attacks that they do to us. More importantly, to Munchlax because of he being just a normal Pokemon because of the Poison Fang. Physical attack will now do less damage. Golbat with Sludge Bomb. On Luxray. That's a fair amount of damage. And it poisons us as well, which is a bit unfortunate. Screech by Munchlax on the rightmost uh, Lux rightmost Colbat. Takes some damage from poison, which is fine. Alright, since he screeched the right one, let's go attack the other one. Air Cutter, which will do damage to both. We'll do reduce damage to Luxray because of his electrical type. Munchlax, however, will take normal damage from these. Fudge Bomb, this time on Munchlax. He's very tanky, so that's fine. Here comes the Spark. We'll be hitting the right. Will be enough, though. 
Yes, it is. It's enough. Golbat goes down in a single hit. That means we have three Pokemon left to fight against Mars and Jupiter. Rosetta Stone 36. Getting pretty good now. Screech from Runtlax on Golbat. Lose his defense by two levels, which will also take some damage from our poison. And last Pokemon for Marsh will be Pure Ugly. So that's gonna be the last Pokemon for um, Mars. Still have two Pokemon left for Jupiter. I'll take a Golbat with uh, Luxray this time. Slash on Munchlax. That's pretty good damage, but Munchlax is really tanky enough. He has a lot of health. Just like his evolution form Snorlax. I'll do Spark on the left Golbat this time. That should be the end for Golbat. Yes it is. Golbat goes down. That means both Golbats are down. Now let's see what the final Pokémon of Jupiter will be. And what about uh, our rival? His Munchlax has survived quite a bit now, but it's getting low health. Body Slam! Let's see if we're lucky with the Body Slam. Oh, look at the damage. And they paralyze! Awesome! Perfect! Really, really good. And last Pokemon will be Scum Tank. Wow! That's Stunky's evolutional form. This one is a tanky, tanky Pokemon. Alright, so I'll go with Spark on... Um, yeah, let's just go with Spark on Scum Tank and let Muntlax focus on Pure uh, But now, Scum Tank most likely take out the Muntlax, that's unfortunate for me. I'll go with Spark on the Scum Tank. Just fine damage, not too much, but fine. Slash on Luxray, that might KO it. It does. Okay, it's a crit, that's fine. But now we have good ways to take up both of these two Pokemon, so let's get into Infernape once again. Infernape has taken some damage, but that's fine. Infernape, go in. Let's KO one of these Pokemon. And Heracross from our rival. Heracross, the bug fighting type, which is four time weakness to flying, but there's no flying in loops here, so that's fine. Alright, so I'll focus on... Uh, okay, we can both focus on each one. Get the one who speed up the first one. I think Pure Ugly is the more offensive one, so I'll take out the Pure Ugly. It will KO this one because it's weak to fighting. So let's just KO it to get rid of it. There we go, Pure Ugly is down. We'll reduce our defense, our special defense, that's fine. And then we're gonna fight off against Skunk Tank. Poison Jab on the front ape. Will we survive? No, we won't. Too much damage. He's 46 though, so that's fine. So down goes Infernape, and what about Heracross? He also has close combat. Will this be enough to take out Skunk Tank? No, it's not! It's not enough! He survives! Damn it! And he also has a berry as well. Hopefully it starts, hopefully they don't have some sort of potion. Okay, so we have to fight the Skunk Tank to take it out. Okay, I'll just go with the Star Raptor for this one. Reduce the attack power, that should take it out. So, either me or Star... We're gonna go for close combat here, so... If we hit this one, we'll take it out. Close combat. By me. Will it be enough? It is. Skunk Tank goes down. Thanks to Star Raptor, who comes in as a saving grace. And this dual battle is over. It is over this dual battle. Beat Mars and Jupiter. Jeez, I could have done the fighting myself. Huh, you toughen up, but you're not much for a boss. Oh, we'll see about that. Heh, <laughs> my Pokemon are tough, right? I can get even tougher. But you know, that's it for us. We hit the wall. Titano, I'll help you with this. Oh, how nice. Hey, Satana, this is it. It's your show now. Look at this. This is Desertion Power. Oh, Dialga. This is fantastic. 
beautiful. It is the creation of a new galaxy. My new world. What's this? What? Music. It's Oxy. And Mesprit. And Azelf. They counter the power from Dialga. Damn. There's Mesprit. The red chain? It crumbled away to nothing? But why? Why will Mesprit, the Pokemon of Lake Verity, appear by your side? But never mind that. It's all destroyed. My galaxy is gone. I won't allow this. I will capture those three again and craft another red chain. But before I think about that, I'm going to completely crush you! So here we go. This is the final battle against Cyrus, the galactic boss himself. First, the Pokemon will be Honkrow. There's just gonna be a little problem, guys. That we are running out of time in the video here, so... I would like to take that video to take to take care of this battle, but I'm actually having to do this in the next video. So I'm sorry, but the fight against Cyrus will be concluded in the next video. If you have any feedback on Let's Play, want to discuss this game, then leave a comment below this video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel to get some content updates. That's gonna be it for now, so I'll see you guys next time as my story of Pokemon Diamond continues with the battle against Cyrus, and then what are we gonna do about Yelga?